Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Hi again, everyone. All right, the big concern this weekend is going to, of course, be the grass fire concern. We have red flag warnings already in effect from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. 7 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, really from Tulsa to the west, including Osage County, Creek County, Okfuskie County, and then westward through Oklahoma City and back into western Oklahoma. The recipe is there. The ingredients are there for grass fires tomorrow. Just look at all this brown. This represents low relative humidities in the 20 to 30 percentile range. Wind gusts to 25 miles an hour, especially first half of the day. And if we do get a grass fire started, with the winds whipping like they could at times tomorrow, the rapid spread would be there. So uh, that's one thing we want to make sure that we just do out, not participate in any kind of outside burning. And we, of course, obey those burn bans that are in effect. Tomorrow morning, 59 degrees with clear skies, a few clouds out to the east. Then we'll be sunny, breezy with south winds around 15 miles an hour in the afternoon. Our high temperature, a record setting 86, the current record. 77 set back in 1951, so we smashed that record. Then we had overnight into Sunday. Here comes a cold front, so we'll see a deck of mid-level clouds slide through here. The winds will turn to the north. They'll be gusty, blustery Sunday morning, blowing at about 20 to 30 miles an hour. The temperature falls into the 40s, and then we clear things out. We're back to sunshine, but Sunday afternoon, we're only looking at a high around 55 as some high cirrus clouds come back in. And then the, th the clouds will thicken up, and that should set us up for some rain, maybe Monday morning, more likely Monday afternoon, Monday night, and for maybe the first half of Tuesday. Now, this is promising, picking up a half inch of rainfall over some of these areas, a little bit less back to the north. So hopefully we can shift this up to the north just a little bit. But again, this would be the first measurable rainfall in green country in about 19 days. By that point, around 21 days, so three weeks since the last time we had measurable rainfall. Full snow moon tonight, and it was a penumbral eclipse, meaning that we just had this little sliver of the moon slightly covered. William Sinaqua took this picture in Brookside, and then another shot of the uh, full snow moon from Rhoda and Mike Olson. And one more shot here from Sherry LaRue of the full moon tonight. And with those trees, it made it look like it's a real wintry scene, but it feels like spring. South winds right now, 15 miles an hour. The air temperature, 65 degrees. We'll drop only to 52 in Bartlesville tonight, 56 at uh, Pryor and Claremore, 56 in Wagoner, 58 in Muskogee tonight, Okmulgee down to 57 with a breezy south wind all night long, and 61 in Stigler tonight with southwest winds at 15 miles an hour. So tomorrow starts out mild, breezy, temperatures in the upper 50s. By noontime, we're already up to 76 degrees. We've already broken the record high by 1 or 2 o'clock, and we'll see the temperatures soaring into the low to mid 80s across the area. And tomorrow evening, if you were headed out for an early Valentine's dinner, 76 and clear. 78 in Grove tomorrow for the high temperature, but 85 at Skyset. We're going to find warmer temperatures west, just a little bit cooler to the east. For instance, Tahlequah and Stillwell, upper 70s, but Okmulgee and Bristow will be in the mid 80s and south of Interstate 40. Same story here, 79 at Poto, 85 at Seminole with southwest winds, gusting at times to around 20 or 25 miles an hour. Then Sunday, it's 30 degrees colder uh, with north winds at uh, 10 to 25 miles an hour. 49 on Monday, 40% chance of rain. 45 on Tuesday, 40% uh, chance of rain again. Hopefully it's over by dinner time Tuesday night.